Hey now, Productions. I'd like to welcome the greatest basketball player to ever grace an MPJ Jaguars uniform, the incredible and all-powerful Eugene Omarui. Hey, Eugene, welcome. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing great. Nice to see you again. It's been a while. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a while. Loved watching you this season on uh, the Pac-10, Pac-12 network. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Big fan. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> let's cut right into the interview man um so you didn't touch a basketball until you were basically in grade nines you were a soccer player right yeah um but then you picked up basketball with coach perry in grade nine and uh i had you with me in grade 10 mm -hmm. um tell me about your start and what led you into basketball in the first place uh i'll say my friends uh just me wanting to hang out with my friends and just me not having a time after school because my parents always wanted me home for homework. So me, me just getting quality time, quality time with my friends and just having that time just to hang out with them and just have fun as a kid. Really nice. No, it was a it was quite a social environment. Uh, yeah, the the core of that team was you and your friends, as you put it. Uh, there was Terry, who I know is in the car mm -hmm. next to you. Uh, there was uh, yeah, Derek, yeah, yeah. Desmond, uh, Jesse, and I, I know I'm mm -hmm. sure you still keep in touch with most of those guys. So yeah, all I, of them. I, I keep in touch with all of them. There sure. you go. So I, I knew it was yeah. a social thing initially, but mm -hmm. you ended up becoming something special. So <laughs> that's yeah. awesome. Um, so in terms, I know you graduated. Uh, in uh from oregon with a poli sci degree with a minor mm -hmm. in criminology um mm -hmm. can you share the importance of education and why you value it i know you're looking to go to the league but mm -hmm. in terms of life not everyone gets there so please share why education was important and what you gained from it it's important because just getting the learning aspect of things in life is is a big deal for me and it's what my parents installed me with so just having to go to school and just learning new things. Yes, I want to play basketball, but there is something after basketball and I need a degree for that. So exactly. me just using political science, my major in criminology as my minor is just, it can help me be a lawyer after basketball. And it also helps me with different things in my life today involving contracts and different stuff like that. Just to know what to read and know what to look for when looking at stuff like that. So yeah. Got it. Um, yeah, I remember actually. Your parents didn't even really want you playing when you were in like grade nine and ten. I remember picking nope. you up for, to go to the Rim Rocker, and your mom yeah. was getting angry at you. Yeah. And uh, well, it worked out for you. So yeah, for sure. <laughs> but for I sure. do get where your mom was, uh, where your mom was coming from, as she realizes mm -hmm. without education, um, if basketball doesn't work out, mm -hmm. uh, you, who knows where you'll be? So. Yeah, I, I, it was, uh, it was something you did work with on. So mm -hmm. good to hear. Now, yeah. um, you had an incredible game against USC in the Sweet Sixteen. Uh, mm -hmm. Twenty-eight points. I think you had five boards, two blocks, uh, a, a steal. Um, mm -hmm. You were on fire that game. I, that was a standout performance. I'm confident yeah. the scouts took notice. Uh, where do you see yeah. yourself in terms of the NBA draft uh, this year or? Even in the next few years, in terms of as a player, where do you see yourself? I definitely see myself in the league. It's just I got to work my way up onto the draft board and just show people that I'm versatile. That what I showed at Oregon, there's more to it. There's a lot more to it that I didn't really showcase. And I feel like they'll see it in the draft process coming up. Uh, they'll see that I can dribble the ball, I can move, I can shoot it really good off the dribble. Just different, different aspects of my game that I didn't really show at Oregon because we want to keep it simple and it's come and preach it as a coach he's more old school and wants wants us to keep it very simple so i wasn't able to show too much but i feel like just this year just going through the draft process the smart way and just showcasing my talent really awesome well we're i know i'll be watching the draft i'm looking forward to it and uh hopefully you're gonna be on that list and yes, the sir. one thing about you is you started way later than everyone else. So you have yeah, sure. way more upside in, in terms of your development. So 
I really mm-hmm. can see you uh, going into the league and, <laughs> you know, showing yeah. off your, your skills. And I know you can learn because I've seen how quickly you developed over the last decade. It's It's been incredible. Yeah. It's been awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm aware of your connection with our Lord. Can you discuss the Eugene Omarui community outreach and how it lines up with Christian or Catholic values? Uh, just giving back. I, I believe... God all gave us the opportunity, especially to be in Canada. We come from Nigeria. He has put me in a place to give back to people that are less privileged and just wanna wanna give that outreach to kids and different families that need our support. Being Christian is not just a it's not just a faith or religion, it's or being Catholic also is not just a it's not just a religion or faith. It's more there's different aspects of it and I feel like giving back is one. And just never being selfish, always being able to give back to people that are less privileged than you, people that do need your help in the world. So that's why I started my foundation. And I feel like in the next few years, I will expand it. And I'll continue to help kids and families that need my support. That's awesome. So basically, you're just saying it's a way of life, Christianity. Yeah, it's more than sure, just sure. religion. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle, for sure. Awesome. Um, and finally... I know you created uh, the brand Broke Baby. Here, you want to plug it? What is it? Uh, what's your plan it's, for it's that? Not, it's not, I didn't create the brand. I'll say more like Terry created the brand. Oh, okay. And then all of our friends got involved. Uh, and I feel like it's just a brotherhood. It's just all of us that came from the Tobacco area or different areas and just came together as brothers. And we just were a friend group. And it's more a lifestyle. And it's more like how we take a day-to-day basis. So I feel like we are going to be dropping clothing soon. So I feel like everyone should check out for that. So we're just, we're just taking that next step, that next step in life. Really. I'll make sure when uh, you release your stuff, uh, we get some plugs out there for you. And where can people follow you on Instagram or other social media? Where can we find you? Yeah, you can follow me on Instagram at Broke Baby Stunner. And then the Broke, it's zero. So B R zero K E B A B Y S T U N N A. And yeah, I'm mostly on there. So yeah. All right. No, we'll we'll find you. Is there anything else you want to share before we uh, head out for uh, today? I just wanted to let all the guys, all the people out there, know that school is key. And a lot of people think that when you play a sport, that your sport could just lead you to the riches and fame, but Scouts do look at how you take school and how you how your how your approaches. So I just want everyone to know that education is the key to success. And if you if you're able to lock into that, sky's the limit. Awesome. Great words, Eugene. Sure. Great words. Yeah. All right, Eugene, uh, we want to thank you. Uh, the Jaguar you. family loves you. And yeah. uh, we hope maybe you can come pay us a visit after you become a Toronto Raptor one day. Yeah, our, our grade 10 team was definitely the best team to ever come out of Johnson. Yeah, by a mile. By yeah, a mile. Sure. Like, for you sure. were, you were, look, I'll never forget you against DeVille. Never. You were fire yeah, yeah, that yeah. game. Pure fire. Yeah, you were shooting it. fire. You weren't missing anything. Yeah. Like, you, you are a good shooter, and we never got to see it in the league uh, so <laughs> far, only because of positionally where you were placed due to the injuries. Yeah. But, I know you can shoot, and you mm-hmm. have veins of ice. Nothing yeah. throws you off. When it matters, yeah. you're fire. Example mm-hmm. against USC. So, yeah. much love, man. Much love. Thank you. All right. So, that was Eugene Omarui from the Oregon Ducks and soon-to-be possible NBA player. So, we hope to hear from him soon, and folks, keep an eye out on him.